Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've just updated your iTunes to a newer version and you're getting the following error, the iTunes file library cannot be read because it was created by a newer version of iTunes. And this usually happens because the file is corrupt and iTunes cannot communicate with it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix this and hopefully get your iTunes working. Now one thing to notice, I use my iTunes basically for upgrading my iPhone and I don't you know, do the old streaming and stuff on it. So if you have some media file attached to your iTunes, this might not be the best solution for you. So with that out of the way, let's dive into the video. Now open your file explorer, go to music, go to the iTunes folder and then on the iTunes library file, right click and then choose rename. Now change the ITL extension to dot forward and click on enter. Click on yes to accept the changes. Now close the file explorer. Now go ahead and run iTunes again. At this time, iTunes will create another a new um, library file and it should work as expected. Um, that's it. I hope this guide has um, really helped you fix the issue and um, again if you have uh, some media content attached to your own iTunes, this may not be the best solution for you. So, um, thank you for watching and um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.